All right, we're back with another episode of 840 Customs. We are out here working on Sydney's Volvo. This car has been uh, in the family for two years, two years. about there. Mm -hmm. um, we got it. It was not running very well. We ended up refreshing pretty much everything under the hood. Uh, and then this past winter decided to throw a brake failure light on. So we're going to go ahead and figure out what the issue is there and uh, replace pretty much everything on the rear axle. Given that I drove it for about five or six months with that light on, nothing crazy, obviously nothing crucial, but yeah. definitely not something we want to leave unhandled before the winter. Yeah, if you slam on the brakes pretty good, it locks up the passenger rear tire. So I'm assuming the driver's side rear caliper is bad. Hopefully it's the caliper and not the line. We'll go ahead and take it apart and replace everything. Be a good time. Let's do it. You don't need go. anything out of the trunk, right? I don't think so. For this job, because there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, none of this is important for this task. Yes. I know. It happens. Yeah. These are quick change too. Yeah, this is the one that's not potentially a problem. Yeah, this is the good side. This is the bad side. Quote, unquote. Look. Quick change pads. You just pull these pins and the pads fall out. Yeah. Yeah, this side looks not good. <laughs> not the same. What does that mean? Oh. This side is a lot more, a lot more corroded. It's junk. Okay. So it doesn't look too bad in here. I have to take these bolts out right here. One there and one under there. And then this whole caliper should slide off. And then the rotor should just come off with it. Well. After this is out, this can just fall off. And the shields look okay. They're not super bad. And I'm hoping that this line is good, which it seems to be, but I need to take the caliper off in order to see. So let's do that. What are you doing, Sid? I am trying to take off the nut holding the brake line on, on the rear passenger side with the Volvo. And it is not really spacious under here you know it's loose we could probably just take the take the caliper off now and then just pull that off at the end i i vote for that because there's nowhere for this to move okay let's pull that off can't really do much <laughs> oh gosh i got a drip in my hair gross sticky Ugh. what's that It's gone now. Take that. You have the other bolts? It's on the ground, on the pig pad. Got it. Okay. Do you have that small wrench or do I need to use Which small wrench? For the line. I do not have it on me. Where is it? It's on the pig pad also. It's on the pig pad. Okay. So then just unthread. You want to try to not bend that as much as you can? Mm -hmm. And then just pull that off. Do you need me to hold this? Yes, please. Man, this is a long nut. Come on, buddy. The temperature right now is wonderful. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got it. We got it off. Yay. 
pads are in pretty good shape. I mean, they're rusty, but they're, there's pad left. So this is the good caliper. We're just replacing it because we have new ones. Might as well do them at the same time. Yeah. Now we got to take that rotor off. That'll be fun. Okay, go ahead and turn it. Oh, wow. Did you get it off? It broke. It broke? Broke free. Oh, that's different. How are you supposed to say that? Got it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sid. Let's see. What am I doing here? Taking this whole thing off, right? Well, am I going to be able to do that? That's yeah. heavy. So it should be pretty light. That whole rotor is going to come off. It's, these are going to stay. That's mm -hmm. going to stay. And this, so this part's going to come off. off. Yep. Got it. So try to pull it off. Let's see, I'm sure it's rusty and not going to come off. Yeah, no. It's very rusted in there. Yeah. Okay, so then we need to use a hammer. Okay. Smash it with a hammer. So you could try it with the, the dead blow first. That's good. If I can actually... How do I even... Why do I have a hard time with these? Here we go. What am I doing? So hit, see how here there's no shield? Mm -hmm. Hit against this. That way? And then, yeah, that way. And then if you can, hit it back this way. But you want to try to not smash anything else. You don't want to just hit the rotor. Not the coil. Mm -hmm. ah. I don't think that did much of anything. Okay. Yep, nothing. Let me try. Um, how hard am I safe to hit this? Oh, you, you're gonna throw it away. No, oh, but that everything around it. Well, don't hit anything around it. Ah. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm doing anything productive. Yeah. Okay. So that's not going to work probably. Nope. Try the big hammer down there. Sledgehammer? The BFH. Ooh, that noisy hammer. It's going to be noisy. Mm -hmm. See him move. Yep. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Hey! Hey! Yaxi! Okay, so then slide it off. Let's pick it. Yep, there you go. Look cool. at that. Some, there's some heat cracks in this sucker. Mm -hmm. Look at the backside. See y'all right here? Hmm. It's a good time. How does a heat crack form? Too much heat. <laughs> That's it. That's all you're going to give me? Yeah. I'm going to try to not replace those parking shoes because they look good. Yep. That sounds great. Do we need to clean them up at all? Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? With brake cleaner? <laughs> In fact, I don't know if we have any more. Brake clean? Yeah. Did you use all of it on your transmission? I used that one can. Look at that. I even gave you one can with straws on them. You even gave me ones with nozzles on them. Nozzles. Sure. You should just have to break them off and spray the whole can. Well, that's what you got That looks good. So I have this too, sir. Do you want that? What? If you can get in tighter. That would be nice. I realize this part has nothing to do with my brakes, but it's rusty, and I'm here. Might as well.
So you must spray it with brake paint again, clean it all up, all that dust. Oh. Make sure you get the other side of that. There you go. Perfect. Dun, dun, dun. That's called mechanics herpes. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Okay. It's like glitter, but for mechanics. You really saw me on wanting to open this. Yeah, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and open it. There's a brush inside. And you put, I want to put a light coating, light mm -hmm. emphasis, on all of that entire surface and the center part. Not, Not any side, just, just on the outside. The outside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, oh, Brody. Yeah, stir it up. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, when you pull it out, like, dab it off on the side. You don't want a bunch. Does this stuff ever go bad? Not really. It's aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Do I want more than that? Less than that. It's probably good. So you put it on, you could spread it around pretty good. You want about that late, that amount everywhere. Okay. The whole thing. But probably not on the sides, right? You don't need it on the sides, just where the rotor is going to touch it. This doesn't like dry, does it? No. Nope. I'm not on time crunch. Not that I want to make this an arts and crafts project for Da Vinci. You know why we do this? Remember when your rotor was stuck on there and you couldn't get it off? Yeah. This will not allow the new rotor to do that. Okay. It, when we take it off eventually again, it will just come off. Got it. So it prevents friction. In my hand, there's not so many. <laughs> Mechanic herpes, unprotected. Uh oh, can't have unprotected thumbs. I'm burning gloves. I just, ah, this is heavy. Let's spray it. Like a baby. No, we don't spray babies. You don't spray hold babies. Like a baby. <laughs> hold it like a baby. Like don't let it fall. But ah, sounds bad. Don't get the camera. Okay, and then remember that one bolt you took out? Yep. You gotta line that hole, the small hole, back up with the thread. Okay. The little hole. With the little thread. Marish? Yeah. Okay. Well, bam. There it is. Where's that little bolt? I think it's this guy. Rusty hardware. You gotta make it on go in. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You gotta tighten it more. Then I can do more. Okay. How tight do I want this? Cinch down. You don't want to like torque on it. Okay. All it's doing is keeping that rotor from falling off right now. Oh, the herpes. Perfect. Okay. Mm, I told you it gets everywhere. It does. You might have to like thread it on there by hand. Yeah. Okay, just um. I can hold that wrench for you. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop. And you just need to get it started, and then we can. Cool put the bolts in and then we can tighten it down unless you want to tighten it down first because well, it was virtually space. impossible to get it okay. off before but it is not
One at a time, it's fine. Okay. They go in a little space. Gross. Yeah, this is kind of the same deal as the uh, anti seas. You don't want a ton of it. You just want enough like to lubricate those things. What happened to this brush? It's angled to get around corners. <laughs> oh, okay. And you don't want to get it on the pad. You just want to get it on the little like metal it's back. On the little side. Yeah. Just like this portion? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's just so when it slides in the caliper, it has some lubrication. Enjoy my dirty knees in the background. Yes, the dirty knees. <laughs> Is that going to be enough or am I going to want more? More? More goop? More goop. That's good. Oh, shoot. I got some on that bed. Well, shaky, Sid. Yeah. I'm a shaky lady. Okay. So, just slap those guys in here. Whoop. Damn. You're a pro. Yay. These are the easiest brakes. Yeah, I'll sit there super ever simple to put on. <laughs> on a not quick change pad, you would put a lot more goop. Okay. Because there's a lot more like friction in these. This is these are super nice and simple. Did the Mazda have quick change? No. Okay. That sounds you know what has quick change now? Audis. Really? <laughs> yeah, super nice cars have quick change pads. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. The Buick will have quick change pads here in a couple foreign, months. Foreign cars have quick change pads. Is there some regulation that made that happen, or did all the manufacturers just decide that, like, everybody hates these? They decided that Let's make it easy. they want to be nice to the mechanics. Because they made everything else so programmer heavy? Yeah, this is taking so much longer than it needs to. There we go. Boop. Oops. Okay, look. So this little cross mm -hmm. goes in here like this, I think. No, hold on. Let me look at this other caliper. Okay, I see. So this goes in here like this, like, like this, and then the pin pushes from the back through the hole, up through this divot, through this hole, and into that hole. Okay, so where are the pins? Pins right here. Does it? Okay, it has to go from the back. So from the back, yeah. Got it. Hey, nice. It is squeeze. There you go. <laughs> Do you think this inspired the aliens in Alien vs. Predator? With the little face? You don't see that? When you look at that? How did I do that? It's so tiny. I grabbed all the small wrenches I had. They're all quarter inch. Except for <laughs> this one. <laughs> I got fluid to come out, so that has enough fluid to once we put it down, we can just bleed it real quick and be done. Just finished putting together the passenger side rear brake. So we took the old rotor off the old calipers and the brake pads and all that jazz and cleaned it up a bit. 
everything's properly lubed up and the new rotors on here. We've got the new caliper with the new pads. Quick change pads are awesome, by the way. Um, so these pins are really stubborn. Had to get some help with those. But the rest of the stuff, new set of brakes. don't have muscles, use trimmers. And so Sid, um, can I make a suggestion? Just yep. because you're using a mallet, put the closed end side on the bolt yep. and then hold the wrench on with your fingers okay. and then just hit that wrench. And then just Okay. That. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That so way it doesn't want to just don't fall hit my off. hand. <laughs> I won't I won't send you to the hospital. There you go. There you go. Thanks. By the way, that's what impact drivers do, is that exact motion. They do the ugga duggas for you? Yep. Yeah. The reverse the ugga duggas? <laughs> You're doing the ugga duggas. There you go. Yay! Yeah. 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 this again? Yep, that would be lovely. Thanks. Would Loud noises! I think that'll do it. See, it's pretty good when you know what you're doing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> DC's lubricant. You already sprayed this, right? I did. Okay. Holy rotor. Sorry if you can't use any of the footage of me today because I am talking like I'm an old person. That's all right. There we go. pad all lubed up. Time to put it in the caliper. Try to move it back this time. Mm -hmm. And yes, the pad is facing the right way. Oops, not too far. Right. Slimy lubricant. Put it on the side of the pad here. Oops. There we go. Okay, this, lube, this lubed up pad is ready to go into the caliper. Try to not get any lubricant on the actual pad itself. There we go. Ooh, that's wiggly. There we go. Um. You need to lubricate these pins. Lubricate them? Yeah, right here on these little chingaderas. Okay. On the side that goes into the caliper. So this side, not that, that side. Yep. It's probably enough on my fingers, but. It's just enough to get it in there. Yeah. This goes in here. Oh, I got shaky hands. <laughs> Those are 
Ireland when we go. <laughs> nice. Number two. Number four. Oh, that one was nice. Very good. Yay. Is it leaking? It's leaking. Yay. We're done for the day. We uh, finished up the brakes, put new rotors, new calipers, pads, and we didn't have to put new lines on. Thank goodness for that. But uh, it's been good. What did you think? This is your first time doing bra uh, brakes? I've helped in the past, but this was the first time that it was a one side was a reminder walkthrough, and the next side was a go do it. Yeah. And she killed it, knocked it out of the park. So all the brakes work. Uh, we checked everything and all of the calipers are uh, compressing, which this one on this side didn't do before. So that's a, at least we have a bonus there. So hopefully we can get this uh, brake failure light to turn off and uh, maybe we need to change a sensor or something. But uh, yeah, it's been good. Excellent. Good job. Thanks. But. Uh, we will be back next time. Uh, we have some stuff coming up with the Buick. We have some stuff coming up with the Cadillac. Um, this big old boat needs some love. So uh, we're excited to bring you some more content, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. There are times when you have to admit defeat. Um, we put new brakes on the Volvo. It has some special uh, stuff on it. And so we called the professionals over here. Um, European and Japanese auto repair, they came highly recommended and we uh, dropped the Volvo off. They took like 30 minutes and got the brake failure light to turn off and bled everything nice. So it is running great. We are excited and these guys are legit. So if you have a Volvo in the Salt Lake area, hit them up and they will be able to sort out all your problems.